Hi, I am Shan. This is Shani Reads. This is um, another little haul, just a small amount of books, so it's like my second January book haul. A couple of which I showed you before. Yeah. Um, first of all, I wanted to mention something which is unrelated to books, which is um, this kind of performance piece that's on in the place where I work, at the Working National Museum, Cardiff. And there's a performance on the moment. I've got the little brochure here and it's on, it starts um, on the 3rd of February and runs through to 11th of March and it's a performance called The Sky in the Room by Ragnar Kjartansson, I'm not sure how um, you say his name, and it's this performance piece where there's a variety of different people and um, they're playing an organ, there's a room with nothing else in it, just this organ and it's quite subdued lighting, they're playing the organ and they're singing the same song um, which is called The Sky in the Room, which is an Italian song, and um, they're singing that same song over and over for a month. <laughs> so I'm guessing not when the museum is closed, but when the museum is open, which is like Tuesday to Sunday, you can go in there and there's this song. So it's kind of, it's pretty amazing. I, there's the opening um, for it last night. So if you're able to, if you're Cardiff-based, or even if you're just like a little bit um, uh, kind of nearby, you should come. And if you don't know Ragnar Kjartansson, um, have a look at his stuff on YouTube because he's pretty amazing. It's all around kind of performance and music. Um, yeah, you'll like him. So the books, the books I've got, there's two that I've kind of uh, mentioned already, but only briefly. Um, one of them was Emergent Strategy by Adrian Marie Brown, which is like self-help social science based on Octavia Butler. Um, Octavia Butler's, or inspired by Octavia Butler's Explorations of a Human Relationship to Change. It's Radical Self Help, Society Help and Planet Help, designed to shape the futures we want to live. Um, I started it and I am really liking it. It's uh, kind of easy to read and really interesting. So I guess if you're into Octavia Butler, you might like this as well. I haven't read any Octavia Butler. Um, yeah, it looks good. Uh, it, someone's put here... A, will, a word heart sojourn through the hard questions. So that sounds good. The other one I've got, which I also mentioned, was uh, Mean by Miriam Gerber, which is memoir. Um, I like the beginning. The first bit says, Let's become a spot upon which fateful moonlight shines. Let's become that night. Let's become that park. Let's absorb and drip. We're damp grains of earth. We're grass purged of colour. We're baseball bleachers. We're November's darkness. We're the baseball diamond sediment. We host little league games by daylight. By dark, we become an Aztec altar. We open our eyes. We allow them to adjust to the place and things described. Seasonal quiet prevails. Nothing squeaks or whimpers. Nothing hums. So that's a memoir. <laughs> it sounds good, doesn't it? I like the look of that one. Um, I went to, last weekend I went to Aberystwyth to um, see my parents and um, I knew I wanted to go and buy uh, the Jasmine Wood book because I'd just finished, um, or had recently finished Men We Read. So I wanted to buy Sing and Buried Sing by Jasmine Wood. So I went to, um, there's this really good bookshop uh, which is up in the art centre which is only small but it kind of has a really interesting range of books. So they had this one so I'm looking forward to reading this one, I think um, me and Bert are going to buddy read it. Also then, while I was in the bookshop, um, I saw these two Rebecca Solnits, and I've been meaning to um, get these for ages, meaning to read them. I was kind of hoping that they would come out in paperback, but it never seemed to. So, well maybe it is now, and that was kind of pointless. So there's um, Men Explain Things To Me. Uh, where, where she does tell you that she didn't invent the word mansplaining. But it's a, that's, so that's the first essay and it's got lots of other little essays as well. I really, I've already read the essay and then explained things to me. It's really good. Um, and then also the mother of all questions, further feminisms. Um, so I love this cover. I feel this cover doesn't quite work because you can't read it. I don't know what this one is. I guess it's more like short essays. Um, there's that one. Then this one I hadn't seen before. But I was really excited to get it, and it's called How We Get Free, um, Black Feminism and the Combahee River Collective, which I don't know anything about, the Combahee River Collective. It's edited by Kianga Yam Atta Taylor, and I think it's quite a recent book, yeah, 2017, and um, 
just in case you don't know as well, maybe you do, but it says the Combahee River Collective was a trailblazing group of radical black feminists, one of the most important organisations to develop out of the anti-racist and women's liberation movements of the 1960s and 70s. In this collection of interviews edited by archivist scholar Kiango Yamata-Taylor, founding members of the organisation and contemporary activists reflect on the legacy of its contributions to black feminism and its impact on today's struggles. So that looks good. So it's lots of, yeah, lots of interviews. I think it's going to be kind of easy to read as well. Um, I went to, when I went to Tesco to do my shop, I did kind of sneak in The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty into my um, uh, trolley because it was just £4. I mentioned that I read Big Little Lies, which I really enjoyed. And while I don't think I'm going to read this straight away, I like the thought of having it in the house. So if I'm kind of feeling like I just want something super light and kind of easy to read that I've got this as well and then the last book I've got came in my fairy loot so I've decided to stop subscribing to fairy loot um because it's quite it, it's quite expensive I kind of love it but it's a bit expensive and when there's only like so many um Funko Pop figures I need and it's pretty much enough and now I've got quite a few um but also often recently the books have not been kind of ones I want to it's like um so it's young adult fantasy but they've been a bit too fantasy like a bit too high fantasy or a bit too sci-fi-ish so then I cancelled it and then I got my box and I was just like oh I love this box um and then I wanted to then I regretted cancelling it but I'm going to keep it as that um for now but the book that was in it was The Cruel Prince by Holly Black so I'm really looking forward to reading this one I love Holly Black well, I loved um back in the day when I read Tithe, it was like the first book I've read of that kind of thing, so I guess sort of urban fantasy. Um, I like Spiderwick Chronicles as well, and I did really enjoy The Coldest Girl in Cold Town, which was a vampire woman, which wasn't that long ago, but maybe not as much as ta like Tithe and the kind of follow-ups to that were just, I loved them at the time. Um, so this one, The Cruel Prince, is another kind of um, fairy one. Uh, um, in the fairy loot box, so there's the main, the cruel prince himself, he's called, what's his name? Prince Carden, he apparently, according to, um, you know, he apparently looks a bit like that, maybe, that's one of the illustrators, but also what is really cute is that we got a candle to go with it, so I like that we got a matching candle to book, and um, they asked Holly Black what they thought Prince Carden I'm assuming he's the cool prince, what he would smell like or what would be his smells and she suggested clove, oakwood, moss, leather, black pepper and pine which kind of sounds delicious but I don't feel it smells like any of those things it smells a little bit like you know those, um, have you had those uh, what are they called, those candles, I forgot what they're called the one that smells like clean cotton or something it's not a bit like that. I'm not really getting oak and oak wood and moss, which I'd have liked, or the black pepper. So that's that. That's everything. Have you read any of, the, have you read any of these books? Um, yeah. Have a great weekend. I will see you soon. Bye.